So people do need to realise when it comes to guys like these, certain things in certain service sell more than others. Some things are less and well, some things are just more. Some things are just atrociously over the top, what people are asking for. So firstly, if I were you, head to your local trading post and search for items I'm covering within the guys to come to see if it's truly worth your time. Now these guys ain't just fruit and veg, they're for other resources too. So don't worry if you're thinking that you're doomed here with the veg on your server just selling for peanuts because it will bring you many many other farms also. So one of these will truly make you a profit. Now for me, Everfall is by far the busiest outpost when it comes to trading, probably because it's basically centre of the map. So head to your busiest uh, outpost and check the prices there. Now like I said, there are those certain items that will make you a decent profit. Some take much, much longer to farm and craft though like star metal ingots or arikalkum gear. Or they could require you to be a certain level in something. Now most of my guys are going to avoid all of that. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So today guys, we are farming herbs. Now I know it seems silly, but in actual fact, herbs can make a decent turnover. And this is because herbs are pretty rare items and are needed in many many recipes out there. Also the fact herbs are exclusive to certain areas and because they are ones we want don't drop every single time they seem to fetch a great great profit. So the herbs we are farming today are garlic, sage and basil. Now what I would suggest you doing guys is before going out and farming these like I said check to see if it's worth your time. Go to your nearest outpost search all and see what they're selling for. Now one of the areas and in my opinion the best areas to farm these is Everfall. On screen now you can see where I am at on the map from this spot right here it's absolutely full of herbs. So head here guys and farm away. By the time you're done head back to the start and everything will have respawned. Don't forget use those boosters to help you find even rarer items. So that's harvesting on your gear, harvesting luck on your sickle, well luck on your sickle or any form of corn, cooked corn, herb corn, boiled corn, uh, corn bread I believe will all give you harvesting luck as well. So if you have any of that, do what you gotta do to help yourself out. Now when it comes to selling the items you have gathered from these guides, what I will say is uh, obviously you want to undercut people by as minimal as possible but you also want to check recent buy orders, what they've recently sold for. If they're sold for way less than what people are asking for, I'd probably go halfway in between. Because you gotta remember, items don't always sell for the price people are actually asking for. They clearly sell for what people have brought them for already. Now there can be a situation where you'll see some of these items may not have been up for sale yet, but people do have them up for sale. That's where I normally undercut them by a couple of quid maybe. And if you notice they fly out like that, then you know the range to sell them for in the future. That's the way I work it anyway, and it's the way I've been selling tons of things since moving server because my first server was kind of dead but now I've gone to a pretty populated server I have no problem whatsoever selling the items I'm showcasing to you guys within these guides but yeah guys use this spot farm that herb earn yourself some gold and drop a like on the video guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one